McDermott Q, America's number one Q, manufacturer of the highest quality two-piece billiard cues in the world, top of the custom Q industry. You've heard all the talk, now take the walk and we'll prove it. Your McDermott Q was born right here, Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, USA. As workshops go, this one's in a class all by itself. 75,000 square feet of work and storage area. The industry's top Q craftsmen. The latest in turning and milling machinery. And precise climate controls for optimal wood curing. Here, quality control is the name of the game. Each and every handcrafted Q is subjected to over 20 quality assurance inspection steps from raw stock selection to final assembly before we let it out our doors. And any cue that doesn't measure up is history. That's how we keep our bragging rights and why you can be confident. When you've got a McDermott cue, you've got the best cue on the circuit. It all starts with raw material, wood. McDermott Q pays a premium to ensure first choice status with our lumber vendors, giving us access to the highest grade woods available in the billiard Q industry. This is Larry Leibel, he's the production manager here at McDermott Q. Larry, you're the guy who selects the woods, right? That is correct. And how long have you been working at McDermott Q? I've been with McDermott Q for 26 years now. Wow, 26. And of the 26, how long have you been selecting the woods? Throughout most of that time, I have been involved in production processes and issues which have included the selection and purchasing of the woods we use. Now talk a little bit about how the vendors rank with you. Well because the wood is the most important and largest component in our pool queue, it is the wood vendor that is most important to us. Uh, the quality of the wood is the most important to ensure the straightness, the strength, the durability, and the beauty that the customer has come to expect in a McDermott queue. And talk a bit about the relationship you have with the vendors. I like to refer to the relationship with our vendors as partners who share a common goal in delivering the customer the highest quality product. So Larry, I imagine between the vendors and McDermott Q, you set some pretty high standards, don't you? That is correct. Because we do pay the high premium for the vendor to pick out the highest quality wood, our standards do demand that they we do get the best color, the best straight green, tight green. We look for the correct moisture content and it'd be blemish and defect free. Each distinctive Q making process at McDermott Q is isolated in a separate area for better quality control and production efficiency. The shaft cell, the butt cell, finishing, and final assembly. This is the shaft cell, where carefully selected maple dowels are turned not once, not twice, but four times. Four turns help stabilize the shaft and ensure its straightness. Then each shaft is tested to see that it has a true roll. Next, shafts are passed through this computer numerically controlled turning center, where ferrule tenons are thread cut and joint holes are bored to tolerances of one one thousandth of an inch. The ferrule is then hand glued and screwed onto the wood tenon. Bruce, how come the gluing and the screwing then? Uh, Bob, the reason why we do this is to add extra strength. Uh, between the threading and the glue, uh, at the finished process, it just makes it a much stronger uh, material. And then is it the same for the joint process too? That's correct. Uh, both the ferrule and the joints get uh, both uh, glue and threading put on, just again for the added strength. Okay, and so then when it's all said and done, what do you do with the finished shaft? Uh, when, when we're done, the finished shaft will go into our Kanban storage system, which is basically like a uh, baker's type rack system. Back to the raw stock now, this time to select the wood for the butt of your queue. McDermott offers the widest variety of woods in the industry. Coca-Bola, bird's eye maple, ebony, spalted maple, and more. First stop on the butt cell is the turning center, where raw dowels are double turned within one one thousandth of an inch to achieve near perfect concentricity. From these dowels, we create the three-piece butt, sleeve, under wrap, and throat. Next, we cut the under wrap, turn and drill out the throat, and create the sleeve. These pieces are then assembled entirely by hand screwed and glued together using a special two-part wood epoxy. Next, an appropriate bolt is carefully selected and inserted in the assembled butt to ensure each cube maintains both a proper balance point 
and the exact weight specified by the customer. After assembly, butts are turned twice more to reduce the likelihood of warpage. Internal and external thread joint tenons are cut, and the pin and joint collars are glued and screwed on. The butt pieces are then sent off to our inlay milling room. Here, precision milling machines cut the inlay pockets. Through the use of CAM software, these pockets are cut accurate to within one one thousandth of an inch, recreating our graphic artist's vision. Inlays cut from our wide selection of exotic woods, precious metals, pearl, ivory, and specialty composites are then carefully inset and glued into each queue by hand to ensure a perfect fit and a look that is unmistakably McDermott. This is Christine, one of the inlay artists here at McDermott Q. Christine, how long have you been with McDermott? I've been with McDermott five years. Okay, and in those five years, how long have you been, have you been doing the inlay process? The inlay process, about three. Now describe the inlay process it, it itself from start to finish. With the inlay process, we start by pulling up a drawing, and that will match whatever material we have. It also shows us exactly where each inlay is placed in the queue. Now, what is the advantage of, of doing this piece by piece instead of just maybe having a machine throw this all together? What we have is we have a lot of complex pieces and they're very fragile and we need to put them together with great care. It just takes a lot of time to put them together just to make sure they're, they fit well, they're nice and tight. And, and that time then, Christine, that, can I, does that translate to a better product? I mean, do you kind of set a higher standards with this part of the queue? The queue must dry for 24 hours, and what we do is we string the inlays. It holds them tight, it holds them firm. It gives us a much nicer looking and a better quality product. All completed butts are then categorized according to series and then put to rest for at least 30 days. On to the finish center. Butts and shafts are selected according to each customer's specific request. Butts get one more turning, bringing them to their final size and are then matched to their respective shafts. Next, each butt is hand stained according to customer specifications by McDermott's finished artisans. Precision and consistency are a must in the stain application process, bringing out the full beauty of the wood while maximizing the visual appeal of each cue's design. After staining is the logo application. Each queue then passes through a specialized UV electrostatic spray booth. Chris, explain everything I just said right there. Sure, sure. Best way to think of it is think of a magnet, positive and negative. Each queue itself is dead. Wood has no polarity whatsoever. So we put a positive charge on the shaft, they get hung into a negative charge hanger, and the paint is also charged negatively. Each queue gets a minimum of five coats of urethane finish, then goes into the sanding room, gets hand sanded, Wrap cut comes back to me for the final process, which is a top coat. This is a cue that was top coated. Uh, this is what the customer would see and feel after it leaves here. We do not touch it again. This is what actually gives a cue its depth, durability, and shine. Final assembly begins with wrap application, where customers can choose from either leather or our 100% Irish linen wrap. Next, shafts receive their final cut, matching them to customer specifications. Each shaft is then hand sanded one last time and sealed with a top quality moisture resistant Q-Wax for a clear sheen and added protection against warpage. Lastly, one final roll test to ensure that the butt, the shaft, and the assembled Q have maintained their true role throughout the Q-crafting process. Jen, a keeper? All right, the shipping department is our last line of defense for quality assurance. Here, Cues are engraved per customer request. Then each cue is weighted according to customer specifications. Now, Lauren, didn't we already do this? Well, yes, we did. But uh, because of the shafts getting cut down to the proper millimeter, it reduces some of the uh, weight from the wood coming off. So we have different size weight bolts here uh, to get it back to customer specifications. Next, cues are placed into air-sealed plastic bags to maintain consistent humidity conditions and carefully secured into tight styrofoam packaging to ensure safe delivery. Greatness in the making? You've just seen it for yourself. What's more, we back it all up with a lifetime warranty. What we like to call the McDermott Promise. 
So now you know. When we talk about the durability, performance, and craftsmanship of McDermott Cues, we've put our money where our mouth is, and so can you.